Hey guys, so as some of you guys might know, my name is Mr. Lapston, uh, and I'm going to be possibly one of your teachers to teach you in the Year 10 3D Printing CAD CAM and Programming course here at Renella East College. Um, this is a semester long course um, and is made up of quite a few different sections and gives you a lot of options in your learning. Um, and as you can tell from the name of it, it is a follow on course from the Year 9 3D Printing CAD CAM Photography course in Year 9. Um, so it's really important that, um, well, it's it's important and it'll be beneficial for you if you have done that year nine course, but it's definitely not a prerequisite because the first term of this course is going to be made up of skills development time. So um, there's going to be different um, cam, computer aided machines and computer aided design software that you guys haven't used. Um, so everyone might be starting on a level pegging, um, but we will be using some of the basics that lots of you would have used here at Renella East College before. So two of those being Autodesk Inventor and Adobe Illustrator. So those are really, really important softwares that are used with a lot of computer-aided machines. Um, and a couple of those are our 3D printers that we have here um, and our laser cutter that we have here as well. So it's important that you get to use those um, and learn how to use them effectively. Um, and that moves into the second part of the semester. So the second term that you guys are going to be doing the course, um, you guys are going to be moving on to an R&D based research kind of project. Um, so as I say R&D, I mean research and development. Um, and you guys are going to be researching, developing a product that can be made using advanced technology. So advanced technology here being our 3D printers, our laser cutter, our mill, and our plasma cutter. So all of those computer-aided machines using computer-aided design software, that's what you're going to be using to create a product. Now, I want it to be a product, or your teacher should be wanting it to be a product that's in your niche. So uh, one of my hobbies might be downhill mountain biking. Um, and so I'm going to be trying to think of a product that relates that, whether it be a brand new drink bottle holder that's really, really good for the um, exact application that I want it for in my downhill mountain biking, um, a different kind of light that can get held on the back of the bike or something. So those are a couple of ideas for something in my kind of interest area um, that I would be thinking of. So that should give you a bit of a heads up into terms of, oh, you've got to be thinking about your hobby and hopefully that makes you create something that's really, really cool and beneficial to you and possibly even society. So. Um, and hopefully we come up with something really revolutionary. Um, and so like I was saying, so the, one of the, first, so the first assessment task is going to be skills-based assignments using those softwares and those computer-aided machines. Second part is going to be the research and development side that we just talked about. And the third part is going to be the production and evaluation of your product. So we're not just going to talk about it and research your product, we are going to make that. So using those skills that you've learned, we're going to make that product and hopefully um, it'll be something that works out really well and something that really interests you. So hopefully, so we're starting, so hopefully you guys will see you at Course Counselling and you're going to be taking part in the brand new subject that we've developed and hopefully implementing in 2019. Um, so hopefully see you there and hopefully have some really, really cool stuff coming out of it.